What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the MLG 2000 series. It's a brand new tournament system being run on MajorLeagueGaming.com mm -hmm. and GameBattles.com, uh, part of our MLG play, where, Revan, we now have an organized pro point system where we can actually see not only the best teams in the world, but also the individuals through all of the Game Battles activity. Yeah, it's going to help out the pro players. It's going to help out the amateurs to try to reach that status. And this tournament, it's really important, Puckett, because we have the packs. Turtle Beach Invitational coming up, so every pro point matters, and the top four teams with the most pro points at August 13th, I believe the list is coming yeah. out, they'll be invited to the tournament. So basically we have two 2000 series this week and as well as I believe next Friday available to the players. If you win it, you earn 2000 points per player. Yeah. The total of your team's individual points will seed that pack's invitational, and uh, four teams will get invited to four unnamed teams that already have invites dedicated to them. So pretty cool stuff there. If you finish at the top of the pro points ladder, you get to go to Seattle and you get a chance to play for some serious prize money. Yeah, I'll be in Seattle. You'll be in Seattle. I'm in Seattle. We're even bringing Benson to yeah, Seattle. The great gonna... Ginger is coming to America, to Washington State to do some commentary. America. He should Mer just move here. I, I really like him. I think he should just get on a boat and start paddling. On a boat? Yeah. A little, take, little, little, he'll little get robot. here by the time I think PAX comes around. But anyways, if you're wondering how the invites work, as you just said, four teams will get it based on pro points. But the other four, they'll get it based on MLG Anaheim as well as Call of Duty Championship placings. All right. So if you performed well at the big events in the past, our commissioner has taken that into consideration mm -hmm. and will be giving out invites. But you guys can earn your points by competing right here on MajorLeagueGaming.com. And Revan, we got a pretty decent tournament to start with. We got yep. names like Unite Gaming. We got TF or TK signed up here, as well as the guys from FaZe. And FaZe, even though they lost to Impact on our last pro scrims, they looked phenomenal. And Slacked, I think he's quickly moving into my top 10 SMGs list. Yeah, I think it's safe to put him up there. But also last night, there was a UMG Atlanta seeding tournament. And FaZe, they got second, only Did losing they really? to Envious. Envious took first. Envy, congrats to Envy as well as uh, FaZe for finishing in the top two there. That's going down in Atlanta. I know you're heading down there yeah. in a few weeks. But it looks like our tournament is just waiting on one more player. In our first round, we are going to have FaZe facing off against the Eager Beavers. Uh, part of the Eager Beavers team looks like it's going to be a bunch of Thrust guys. We got Thrust Liquor, Thrust Super, we got T Ghosted EN, and uh, they're just waiting on their fourth. Of course, for Phase, you're going to have Replays, Huddle, Spacely, and Slack. Basically, the three players from Unite Gaming that finished second at our MLG Dallas tournament, mm -hmm. as well as Replays, who is part of VVV Gaming. And uh, part of the phase for the last tournament in Anaheim, he's going to be stepping up as the leader for this squad. Yeah, also you mentioned that Team Caliber is in the tournament. Unfortunately, Goonjar is Canadian. He can't compete just yet. The laws are making it tough on yeah. us to run some tournaments for everybody. Just blame Canada. Blame Canada. Yes. No, but uh, also um, we should finish that thought. Replacing Goonjar for today, pretty darn good pickup for them. They got Parasite? Yeah, I believe so. We could double check on the roster, but that's what Twitter was saying. But it looks like I think all the players are here, and once they're ready, we can start this game right up. It looks like the first map, it's going to be Raid Hardpoint. Raid Hardpoint to kick things off. I like what we're seeing here already. So, guys, stay tuned. We're going to be doing the quarterfinals, the semifinals, as well as the grand finals as part of today's broadcast. Get on Twitter and spread the word. We are live right here on MajorLeagueGaming.com. Puckett and Revan coming at you from the New York City studio. It's the first ever 2000 series for Call of Duty. And if you guys missed your chance to sign up for today's event, don't worry. We have daily tournaments going on on GameBattles.com where you can earn 200 points a pop on those. And we have another 2000 series where you basically make 10 times the amount of points of a daily tournament. And that will be going down next Friday, your last chance to earn points before the seeding comes out on August 13th. Yeah, also, you could earn pro points by a bunch of these other smaller tournaments, like Sticks and Stones, I believe, is one of them you could get. Was it like 200 pro points for that? Yeah, basically any of the smaller dailies, yeah. it's 200, maybe 250, I think, might be the Which, actual number. You know, it's not a lot, but if you win just about every single one of them, you'll get maybe as much as winning this 2000 series. Also, I'm going to be working on a new series of pro scrims, which will actually be taking the pro points into consideration. Oh. So the top two teams from today will get the first two shots on pro scrims next week. The winner of pro scrims will earn 500 points. The nice. loser that gets invited to pro scrims, nothing. So it's win it all to earn the points in. 
I believe I'm going to try and give a, a little advantage to the Canadians out there. I know TK, they're undefeated on pro scrims. Well, that's actually going to help out teams with Canadian players. Since, exactly. I mean, there are no Canadian laws preventing them to play in pro scrims. Exactly. No money on the line in pro scrims, so mm. there's no legality issues going on there. Also, uh, I know we have Envy interested in coming on a pro scrim, and a lot of people are asking for Impact versus Envy, which I think is my dream matchup leading up to PAX. Well, what about... We could probably get like two pro scrims a night if we do them, right? What if we do like some... We could do some really cool stuff with that. Wow. Well, Revan's brain is starting to go like this, and I like The creative juices it. are flowing. We're going to be working with our commissioner to make yeah. it as awesome as possible for all of you guys from around the world interested in playing. We also got some EU pro points coming out a little bit later. Uh, I really like what the commissioner and, and the rest of the Game Battles team are doing, trying to incorporate daily activity into a more global seating. And remember, guys, the online play is going to help you with the pro points. The lands are going to make your serious chunks. I yeah. believe PAX is going to be awarding 5,000 points to only the winner. No one else who gets invited will take anything. So it'll be win packs, win a big chunk of money, but also win your pro points. And then it, coming up in November, we have our next pro circuit announced. That's going to be a 10,000 of them. So wow. if you win that one, 10,000 points per player. Pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Also, as you were saying about the EU players getting pro points, I know that a couple of teams that came over, I think it was Epsilon Prophecy, they came over. They had a tough time trying to get seated because they're European. This mm -hmm. is definitely going to help them out. If uh, they decide to come back over again, they'll get some pro points, which will help seed them. Man, I love Prophecy. You love Prophecy? I love Prof. I love the new Prof. But With Jordan Madcat? I really want to know. So Prof is like the super squad, if you guys aren't mm -hmm. following the EU scene. Basically, Epsilon and Prophecy came together and became the super Prophecy. Uh, Epsilon... Who did they kick off the squad? Is Shane and... Uh, it's just Shane and Xanady, I think. And if, if they are still teaming together. But pro, it was Jerd and Madcat. They both left. And Jerd, he was on our broadcast last night for some e-sniping. His team made it all the way to the grand finals where they got taken out by the Source squad. Yeah, he's playing with TCM there. Marky B mm -hmm. and Rich for that one. Yeah, if you missed any of that action, head over to YouTube.com slash official MLGCOD. Check out all the VODs there. Pretty awesome stuff. E-sniping is the real deal, guys. We had a blast commentating that yesterday. Uh, but just to finish the thought on Epsilon, I can't wait to see who is going to come from that former Epsilon on it. Who's going to play with Shane and Xanity? Because I definitely think they could take out the new prophecy also, they have, some of the big free agents They out have there. a seed for ESWC. They got that for winning DreamHack. So... I want to go stuff. to Paris. The COD world, all kinds of stuff going down. We got EU points. Mm -hmm. We got NA points here at MLG. And we got all kinds of tournaments going around the world. It's a great, great time to be a competitive first-person shooter player. But it looks like, Revan, our first game of our 2000 series here at MLG is kicking off now. It's going to be FaZe versus the Eager Beavers. It's the boys from Thrust. And you can see you got T-Ghosted. You got Thrust Decay, Super, as well as Liquor V. And we're going to start things off with Huddle, though. And Huddle, he used to rip it up with the... Secure the objectives. Uh, we used to watch Huddle Hard as he would identified. rip it up with the foul. But now he switched over to the MA, and he has gotten so good with his burst fire weapon. Yeah, I actually want to watch Slack up the start, since he's going to be a bit more aggressive as a submachine gun player. And you set it up the start that you would put him in your top 10 SMG list. So let's see what the kid's got. But maybe we should have stayed on board with Huddle. He's already got four kills to his name as uh, FaZe are up to a very strong start, getting 20 straight points here. Now we see that the Eager Beavers are making their way to the hard point. Slack, he gets cleaned up. Now we could watch Huddle. Let's see what the kid can do. All right, so on board with the Hudster, and he is still alive. That's a five-kill spree. Did not earn any score streaks, though. So despite a very hot start, the score only 20 seconds to 9 seconds in favor of FaZe. Let's see what the Eager Beavers can do to make a comeback. As you can see on the mini-map, the Eager Beavers are those yellow arrows in the bottom right-hand corner. The blue arrows, that is going to be the FaZe squad. And currently, FaZe has just won the anchor battle. They are going to be set up for our second hard point with Huddle already sitting inside the kitchen. Yeah, the Eager Beavers won the rotation into the kitchen. They got there first, but they didn't get any transition kills. Now FaZe, they were able to break the hard point, and it looks like they're going to fight for it. Huddle picks up nice kills in the hard point. He's on a four kill spree and he's going to be working towards some score streaks. Has to get out of there, but yeah. his teammates are there to support him. He's got to stay alive here, Revan. Two more kills and he's going to have himself a lightning strike. Possibly just one. There Let's see go. if he gets it. There's the Hellstorm. So now one more of the six kill. will deserve it. Not going to happen. We got replays now on your screen. Dodging Semtex, but look at that scoreboard. It just continues to tick up in favor of FaZe. Replays watching that window. You got two players watching the front, and the flank is going to be watched by Spacely at the moment. So, fantastic setup here from FaZe. Yeah, they got so much time off this kitchen hardpoint. Now, with 
around 15 seconds remaining replays. He's going to start the rotation all the way over, but there's player in the corner near bottom pool building. Looks like that was Ghost, and let's see what the Eager Beavers got. Let's see if they could start to put a deficit, or at least cut into the deficit that they currently Can face. Can we take a look at the uh, scoreboard after Ghost dies as well? I want to see after two minutes who is on top oh, of the leaderboard. 12-2, wow. and two, Mr. Huddle. Jump on board with this amazing 16, 17-year-old from Delaware. I believe I got my states right on that one. Correct me if I'm wrong on Twitter, boys and girls. Either way, he's locking it down at the start. 12-2, and two, has the Hellstorm. And, man, getting six kills of life is not easy, my friends. Yeah, and now they're going to be making way into the hard point, so he could get more kills here. With the B23R, finds his Ghosted as FaZe break control rather easily. And take a look, he's about to find three more coming through the gym wow. side of the map. And he's just locking it down, picks up one more inside the hard point, can't turn around and clean up the final kill. And Slack is left alone the hard point he's taken out. It's going to be Ghosted from the Eager Beavers taking control. And look at this scoreboard, Revan. The Eager Beavers have 20 seconds left inside this hard point. Have to get this player out so they can continue racking up the time. But they're only down 24 seconds here as the hill is going to be moving in nine seconds. They also have Decay set up for our next hard point. Yeah, and it's looking pretty good. They have a Hellstorm missile to work with, but so does FaZe. So both these teams, even in score shakes and replays, he's lurking right outside of the basketball courts here. Decay challenges, he gets cleaned up, and here comes the Hellstorm missile. Could potentially pick up three, one, two oh. for a huddle, and replays, he's going to push into the hard point. He's got to get past Ghosted. There he is. Nice job here from FaZe as they take control. Yeah, and I was just switching through as I watched Super get taken out on top. Space Lee's going to get that kill. 81 seconds and counting as they're now doubling up on their opponent's score once again is FaZe. Ghosted trying to break in, but Replay is going to shut that one down. Earns himself a lightning strike as well as the Hellstorm. About two the kills away from the War Machine as well. Yeah, and there are going to be more players challenging him. And there's the War Machine from Replays as he's just mowing down everybody that he sees. He's got some good position here and a nice shot as well. And here you go, Licker doesn't want to challenge. There's only 15 seconds remaining in the hard point. They should really be focused on trying to lock down position at the middle square as replays. He's on a six kill spree. While he's not going to be seeing any action, let's take a look at his scoreboard. Wow. 16 and 4 from replays, 18 and 7 from Huddle. Jeez. Slack doesn't have to do anything because Huddle and replays are just taking over. Yeah, Slack seems like just the objective, man. He's playing with three bar. You can definitely see this is FaZe's host, also. We should point that out, guys. But Slack. With those five captures, that shows me that he's just the guy they're going to send into the hill every single time and let the teammates around him protect him. Yeah, FaZe, they have a great setup right now. They have the assault rifle players looking over the hard point, and here comes the war machine from replays. Let's see if he can pick up any kills. Spam that thing across the map. Finds one, but at the cost of six grenades, there's a player right next to him in the kitchen. He's going to get cleaned up as Spacey's challenging the hard point. Basically inside, but so is Decay, and Decay's on a three kill spree. Finally cleaned up by Slack, who is now starting to add some kills to his spree. That was four in a row before he got taken down. On board with replays once again, the leading slayer in the game, as I believe he just passed Huddle, but Huddle continues to add kills to his spree as well. 127 to 66, and talk to me about this rotation. Rarely do we see players go all the way to the basketball court and then rotate around. Yeah, that was a bit weird, but he actually is going to get cleaned up. His teammates have position over the laundry, but he spawns all the way across the map. It looks like his teammate, I believe it was Spacey, was able to clean up house and take control. And I don't like this house from here by the Eager Beavers. Look how far away they are across the map. You got Decay, Ghosted. They're all inside the kitchen side of the map, and they actually use a lightning strike here, but there's just no one to push in and take control of the hard point and follow it up. Double score streaks being used here, and honestly, you can consider both of, this, both of them a waste. Yeah. As FaZe has total control of the ring, 140 now to 75, trying to double up on their opponent's score once again. Four minutes, 18 seconds left on the clock. This deficit can definitely be closed, but Thrust is going to have to turn on, excuse me, the Eager Beavers. They are definitely going to need to start outslaying their opponents and stopping Spacely, who is currently on a four-kill spree. Yeah, and Replays is starting to heat back up as well. He's got the most kills in the game, and he's not stopping anytime, anytime soon as he's just holding down inside middle of the hard point. But five seconds remain. Both these teams should be focused on the next hard point. It looks like the Eager Breavers, they have a sentry gun over near the full stairs. We're going to see if that's able to do any damage as they get initial control of the hard point. But here comes the, here comes the phase. Now here's the problem, Revan. I just took a peek at my scoreboard and I saw that we have replays and huddle at 24 and 25 kills. On the other side, no one has more than 17 kills and that's from Super. But most importantly, the Eager Beaver squad only has seven defense as a squad. Mm. So when they are getting in the hard point, they have all kinds of captures. 
but they're not getting the kills from inside the hard point, and that's what you need to win. If you look at someone like Spacely, he already has seven captures and seven defense to his name. Yeah, now Slacks, he's taking over at the anchor position. He's going to be able to pick off any out. Eager Beaver players that decide to try to push from Laundry, and now you see they've given up on that kitchen hard point. They're going to try to rotate over to the garage with the exception of Ghosted here, who's trying to make something happen, and really his plan there is trying to take out Spacely, get him off score streaks, but it's really Slack they need to worry about. He's so close to getting that Hellstorm missle. I'm going to switch over to Spacey. He's already got his score streak, so back on board with Slack as he's pretty far pushed up for face, finds one, gets the Hellstorm missile. Making a lightning strike as well. Nice job by Slack. He's got everything but the war machine. And let's see how he decides to use it. He's got the Hellstorm available, and Revan, would you call it down? On the next hard point, with 2.30 left on the clock, knowing you're doubling up on your opponent's score, any reason not to let those score streaks rip? I mean, it's not that effective on this current hard point since there's so much cover they use to try to dodge, but you most certainly can use it in transition trying to get control of the basketball hard point because they're not going to win off this current hard point. It's definitely going to go over to the basketball, and you see the phase guys, they're already rotating over to the lat when you got huddle and replays making their way there now. Slacked on a seven kill spree. Rev, let's take a look at our scoreboard as it looks like FaZe has his garage completely locked down. 27 and 22 is Spacely. Eight caps, nine defense, 28 and 17 from Huddle, and 27 and just 10 from replays. Absolutely dominating in the slay column. These guys are just thrashing the eager Beaver squad at the moment. And replays, he's going to watch his slack calls down the lightning strike. Here comes the Hellstorm as well. Only going to get one with that actually doesn't get anything as replays is going to steal the kill on Liquor. And here we go. Time winding down. Only seven seconds left for FaZe to try to clear or take this first map here. It's going to be up to Spacely. If he gets this kill, most likely going to win the game for his team. Three, two, uh, only two more seconds. Can he get the next kill? He's getting challenged by two players. Wow, what a great play from Spacely as his teammate comes and helps out with the other kill. But they should be able to win off this hard point. They just need to pick off one more player and replays. Oh, he actually gets cleaned up as well. So Decay keeping his team alive for a couple more seconds. But it's mathematically impossible, Pucket. Only 60 seconds left on the clock. they are 15 left in the current hard point. So phase they can win with this push as there you go. It's only a matter of time at this point. There you go. And they've done it. Phase they take the first map very convincingly over the Eager Beavers. All right. So there we go. It is a... Best of three, and already faced with one win towards the end game. Now let's take one final look at our scoreboard here. And there you go, 30 and 24 from Spacey. He finishes on top for phase, but replays only got 14, 14 deaths. So a great job anchoring by yeah. him. Fantastic anchoring mm -hmm. work there. Anytime you see someone with less than 20 deaths as an anchor, they're having a good game. Less than 15, they're having a great game. Less than 10, they absolutely crushed. So replays, almost going double positive there in the kill to death ratio. Having a pretty strong start, but that's just hard point. Yeah. And uh, FaZe, if we saw any weakness in their game, it might have been search and destroy when they're playing against Impact. Yeah, but I mean, I think they're the clear favorites here over Eager Beavers. So this is going to be a good time to practice their search and destroy. Because whenever you're scrimming search and destroy, you know, it's so much different from when you're actually playing in a tournament. So we're going to see, like, their true search and destroy here. And where have we seen this Decay guy from? Because I've definitely seen him on this stream. Was he part of the Dread squad? I don't know. Right, you don't remember. I've seen you before, though, Decay, and I'll never forget. I'm looking for him to step up the game in game number two. But, guys, we're going to a quick commercial break. When we return, more MLG Call of Duty action right here on MajorLeagueGaming.com. 